Hello, I'm Pastor Lauren Corverbius, and I want to share about my book that I wrote, Finding Your Place in God's Eternal Purpose. I think one of the most important things we have to understand about God is He has an eternal purpose. And the reason this is important so that we can understand where we fit in that eternal purpose. The Bible tells us that we were chosen in Christ before the very foundation of the world. I don't know about you, but that's amazing to me. That means that God had this plan before he even started to planet Earth, and we were part of it. It even speaks about the fact that Jesus Christ was the Lamb slain before the foundation of the world. Those two scriptures alone let us know that with God and with us, we have to realize that God had a plan, and when the Earth was created, that's when he began to put that plan in operation. So when we look at history, we have to understand that it's not just history, it's his story is what I like to say, because God has an eternal purpose. It started in the book of Genesis, and we see the consummation of his eternal purpose and desire in the book of the Revelation. And one of the things we have to understand is that God has been at work all these thousands of years with one purpose in mind. What is that purpose? Well, the Bible tells us in the book of Romans chapter eight that Jesus Christ would be the firstborn among many brethren that each and every one of us were called by God and justified and in that sense glorified so that we could fulfill that purpose that Jesus Christ would be the firstborn among many brethren. God didn't just want to have one son on planet earth. He wanted the earth to be filled with his sons. And we're not just talking gender now. We're talking men and women who become the sons of God in the earth. We are the sons of God individually. We are the bride of Christ collectively. So there's a stretch involved in every person's walk in these things. But we have to understand that God had this thing that started in the book of Genesis and he's been working it throughout the years. Sometimes people think that, well, God started one plan and that didn't work, so he tried something different. That didn't work, so he tried something different. No, the Bible says he's the author and the finisher of our faith. He is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. It's been a consistent plan. God has been working in the same plan throughout the years, and he's been patiently working with mankind. And for the last 2,000 years, Jesus Christ has been patiently working with the church. Because you know what he said? He's gonna come for a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing. How amazing is that? So when you read this book, you'll understand God's purpose will be fulfilled because the Bible says no purpose of God's can be withheld from him. Not only for planet Earth, but also you can have that confidence the same thing is true in your life. Give yourself to the purpose and learn these principles and you'll understand how to find that peace and that comfort to walk fully in the things that God has for you.